it didn't matter what the sign said. It's always been Pine Knob. The memories run deep at that amphitheater in Clarkston. On its 50th anniversary, we can once again officially call it Pine Knob. I love it. That's awesome. A lot of great memories, and I think it's perfect. We've been going there for years, and it's a family tradition. Pine Knob is just sentimental to me. Everyone's got a story. I remember my first summer here in 1982. First show going out to see Eric Clapton. Music journalist, a guru, Gary Graff, knew the name change was coming. Every time somebody would say to you, you know, it's, it's always Pine Knob to me, you're like, <laughs> not going to say anything. Promoter 313 Presents said goodbye to DTE Energy Music Theater Friday. People fought that name hard since the changeover in 2001. Now a new logo with homage to the history here to accompany the news. The artists love it, the fans love it. You know, it's it's really, it's, it's a very special kind of name. It's a buzz among iconic performers who rock the stage at Pine Knob, like classic rocker Peter Frampton tweeting about it Friday. A pivotal place for Bob Seger Kid Rock to adopted locals like Jimmy Buffett and the band Chicago. As Pine Knob, it's a very important touchstone to so many artists. In an unheard of move, corporate sponsors taking a back seat, returning one of the most successful concert venues in the country to its original glory. Welcome back. This coming season is going to be a celebration by the artists with the audience of the return of the name. So far, there are 16 acts scheduled for this season at Pine Knob, but the big question, who will that season opener be? Well, the rumors are it will be a Detroit icon. Nothing confirmed yet. Stay tuned. Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.